This is One on One. Stress. She's asking where she looks, but she's the one who's going to tell us about stress. She is uh, Thea Singer, author of a wonderful book called Stress Less for Women, Calm Your Body, Slow Aging, and Rejuvenate the Mind in Five Simple Steps. Why are you asking where you have to look? Relax. Okay. No stress. No. Okay. Hey, why? Let me ask you something. Even though the book is for women, you said it's also for men. Yes. You argue that we are too stressed. You argue that uh, diet, sleep, sleep, uh, excuse me, uh, sleep deprivation and exercise and a whole range of issues having a big impact on our stress level. Absolutely. But you say there are five simple steps to deal with it. Okay. Let me explain about the five, the five simple steps Would and the, the men tell versus you you women. To say that? The publisher did say <laughs> we needed. The publisher said that actually. Um, there are chapters in there are five chapters. I call them the intervention chapters, where I talk about ways to reduce stress and slow aging. Because what the book really concentrates on is the link between stress and aging, all the way down to our cells, and that's where the new science comes in. So there are five chapters in there that okay. provide tips on ways that you can reduce your stress and slow your aging. Do you believe, and by the way, what are you doing walking around with a shoelace? She's got a shoelace. got this from the hotel guy. <laughs> no, come on, Steve, get a shot of this. This is my prop. What this are you doing my, with it? This is my prop for, uh, to explain the science behind cellular aging, All which right. is caused by stress. Okay, we have chromosomes that lie in the nucleus of our cells, right? And on our chromosomes, there lies our DNA. That's the substance of our being. At the ends of the chromosomes are these little tips, just like there are these little plastic tips on the ends of these shoelaces. Yes. These are called telomeres, the tips on the ends telomeres. of our chromosomes. Telomeres. Telomeres. And what telomeres do is they protect our DNA in the same way that these little plastic tips keep the shoelace from unraveling. Now what happens when cells divide, not all cells divide, but many do, blood cells divide, immune cells divide, when they divide, the telomere gets a little bit shorter. And that's why scientists look at the length of a telomere as a marker of biological or cellular aging. Got that so far? Go ahead. Okay. What was found by a revolutionary study done in 2004, which has since been replicated many times by Nobel Prize winner Elizabeth Blackburn and UCSF health psychologist Alyssa Eppel, was that stress actually can erode those telomeres, aging our cells before our time, essentially. Uh, they looked at caregiving moms. They were caring for children with chronic diseases. And they had them take this test called the perceived stress test. Mm. And what they found was, was that those who perceived themselves as being under the most stress had telomeres that were shorter by the equivalent of 10 years. Taking 10 years off our lives? Than those who perceived themselves as being under the least stress. So what do we do? Okay, did you catch that most important word there? Perceived. Perceived. Oh, I get it, I'm a good listener. Perceived, you're an excellent listener. So. Circumstances in and of themselves are not what freak us out. It's how we react to those circumstances. Attitude? Well, perception. Okay, I'm in a supermarket. Okay. Woman in front of me, guy in front of me, I think they're taking too long. Okay. Or I'm on the Garden State Parkway. Oh, yeah. Steam right? coming out of your ears, right? All right. And all yeah. of a sudden, guy cuts <laughs> me off, usually a guy, and I want to give him a particular finger. Okay. And either I, I give him... I won't ask which one. No. I'm either going to give him a <laughs> finger... I'm going to scream and yell at him, or I'm going to say, you know what? I'm not in a rush. I'm going to get there safe. I got four beautiful kids. Let me put on my, the Sinatra station on Sirius right. XM mm -hmm. and relax. That's my choice. That's exactly your choice. And the way that you respond will affect what's going on inside of your body physiologically. Yeah. So, for instance, you get all freaked out, start tearing your hair out. Yeah, now I'm going to your catch stress up levels with him up. and I'm going to yell at him. Your stress what's levels going going on through inside the roof. my body. What's going on inside is your cortisol, your primary stress hormone, is just racing through your body. It's there for a reason, because right. if you were really in a threatening situation, you need it so you can be alert yes. and so that you, know, you can run away or kill the prey or whatever yes. it is that you need to do. But the fact is, you're just sitting in a traffic jam, but your body doesn't know that. So you are accelerating the aging of your cells and your systems by having that reaction. 
But for instance, if you were to whistle a happy tune <laughs> right. or do some deep breathing, what I do is I exhale diaphragmatic breathing, starting counting at 10, going down to one, you calm, things calm down, your cortisol doesn't spike, your epinephrine, which is the first stress hormone that kicks in, that doesn't spike. And so you're not eroding your telomeres, you're not aging your cells to the extent that you would in that first scenario. Why do you write this just for women? I don't write it just for women. The science, the biology, the physiology applies to men and to women. Why are you talking about sleeping? Why am I talking about sleeping? Why do you say sleep deprivation? S sleep is an incredible, sleep deprivation is an incredible stressor. It screws up your memory, it makes you gain weight, and it makes you preferentially pack that weight in your belly, which is very shocking uh, to many people. And the reason that sleep deprivation, sleep deprivation is used as a torture technique because it is so very stressful. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I ha one thing I have in the book was I've spoken with speech, ex uh, speech experts, sleep experts, and they have laid out a program of ways that you can actually help yourself to relax and get a good night's sleep. It's very important. One of the primary takeaways is mm -hmm. that you have to think of sleep as important as any other activity that you consider vital in your life. For instance, you wouldn't step out of the shower before you rinse the soap off. That's right. You're not going to get up out of bed before you've had the number of hours of sleep that your body needs. Many of the women who run the operation here at the Caucus Educational Corporation, our fine production company, uh, are clamoring in my earpiece, which creates a great oh. deal of stress, to find out this question. What can they do, um, in spite of how young they appear to be, <laughs> what can they do to reduce or to slow down the aging process? That is uh, an obsession of theirs. Yes, it's an obsession of all of ours, men as well, Not correct? mine, but go ahead. Not yours, okay. What you want to do are, there are the five steps, yes. or the five chapters look at exercise, they look at diet, meditation, they look at changing your mind, sleep, uh, and by following some of the steps that I lay out, you can reduce your stress, and this has been shown by scientific studies. That's one thing about my book, is all of the recommendations are backed up by scientific studies. For instance, there have been studies showing that those who exercise more, who exercise a moderate amount, what the uh, 2008 CDC guidelines recommend, that their telomeres are longer than those who are sedentary. There are studies that show mm. that uh, those with higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids in their blood mm. have not just have longer telomeres than those who don't have those higher levels, but that their telomeres lengthened over five years. A very new study just came out looking at yoga meditation, yogic meditation. It was only eight weeks. These were caregivers of uh, people with dementia, and they found that just this meditation, actually they had longer telomeres and higher levels of an enzyme that, enzyme that lengthens telomeres than those who didn't do the meditation. Do you know, uh See, I have to tell you, just by you being here, I feel a lot less stress. Do you? Yep. I don't know why. You have that calming <laughs> influence. And I'm going to steal that um, shoelace. The shoelace? From you. Thea Singer is the author of the book uh, Stress Less for Women Calm Your Body, Slow Aging, and Rejuvenate the Mind in Five Simple Steps. Good stuff. I want to thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for You're having very me. Helpful. Thank very helpful. Very peaceful. We'll go meditate when we're done. Yes, we will. Yes. Uh, Steve Adubato, <laughs> you can feel it, you can see it. I'm, uh, He's I, seem chill. Young, I seem younger. I'm very chilled, too. <laughs> yeah, your right hair's changing. Right this. I'm <laughs> radiant. <laughs> Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by Barnabas Health, Qualcare Inc., the law firm of Gibbons PC, Verizon Communications, and by TD Bank. Promotional support provided by The Record. North Jersey's trusted source and NorthJersey.com. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One on One with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.